Congratulations on purchasing your new Yamo Studio 8 speakers. This high-performance, compact speaker line has been completely redesigned to bring great sound to modern living spaces. In this video, we'll go over correct placement of each speaker in your room and how to connect each speaker to your AV receiver. For floor standing models, place the box on its side and use a knife to cut the tape. Stand the box vertically, upside down, and pull the box off the top of the speaker. Unboxing the speaker upside down will make it easier to attach the included feet. More on that in a second. For bookshelf and center channel models, simply open the box from the top and remove the speakers. Be sure to remove the grills, manuals, and any included hardware before discarding the carton and packing material. The floor standing models include metal feet that will need to be attached out of the box. Remove the inner pack from the bottom of the speaker and use the included wood screws to attach each foot. Pilot holes are drilled in the bottom of the speakers to act as guides for each foot. Using a screwdriver or drill set to a medium torque setting, screw two of the included wood screws into each foot as shown. Once complete, turn the speaker right side up for placement. Correct placement of your Yamo Studio 8 speakers will generally depend on speaker type, room size, and what kind of system you are using. For two-channel or music listening, we recommend using any of the floor standing models or monitor models. Ideally, the distance between the speakers should be equal to the distance from each speaker to the listening position. Obviously, this won't always be achievable depending on your room layout and size, but getting as close to this one-to-one -one ratio will give you the best stereo imaging at the listening position. After placing the speakers, towing them in slightly towards the listening position will make for better imaging and high frequency detail. If you're using a full 5.1 home cinema system, use the two-channel placement detailed previously for your front left and right speakers. The center channel should be perfectly centered directly above or directly below your television or projection screen. The center channel will reproduce the dialogue from movies or TV shows, so the closer to the screen it can be placed, the more realistic it will sound. The side surrounds will ideally be placed the same distance from your listening area as your left and right speakers, just to the side or slightly behind the listening position. Of course, in smaller listening spaces, the distance won't be exactly equal to the distance from the front speakers. That's okay. What's more important is that they are equidistant and symmetrically placed relative to the listening area. If you purchased S809 floor standards, S807 floor standards, or S803 bookshelves as part of your system, you have the option of adding the S8 ATM Dolby Atmos elevation speakers for a full 3D Dolby Atmos listening experience. To add the S8 ATMs to your system, simply place each one on top of the S809, S807, or S803 speakers. The small connector feet on the S8 ATM should fit tightly in the terminal fasteners on top of the 809, 807, or 803 as shown. For more information on Dolby Atmos and how it can improve your home theater experience, go to dolby.com. When using an S810 sub or S808 sub subwoofer in your two-channel or multi-channel system, specific placement of your subwoofer relative to the listening area isn't as important since low frequencies propagate evenly from the speaker. However, finding the right placement in the room can help increase performance and output. This will typically be in the corner of the room. Now it's time to connect the speakers to your AV receiver or amplifier. First, connect the speaker wire to the binding posts on the back of the speaker, matching the red speaker wire to the red terminal and the black speaker wire to the black terminal. If you are using clear wire, connect the striped wire to the black terminal and the non-striped wire to the red terminal. If using the S8 ATM Dolby Atmos elevation speakers, you will connect an additional speaker wire to the back of the main channel that the S8 ATM is on top of to the terminal labeled height. Now, run the wires to the back of your AV receiver or amplifier. 
Your front left and front right speaker should go to the front L and front R terminals on the back of the receiver, ensuring you are connecting the red wire to the red terminal and the black wire to the black terminal. Continue to do this for your center channel to center and surrounds, surround L and surround R, and be sure to confirm consistency in your wiring scheme. Your wires for the Dolby Atmos channels will likely go to terminals labeled height or rears, but for more information on correct wiring for your specific Dolby Atmos receiver, consult your receiver's setup guide or owner's manual. Using the included RCA cable, connect the S810 sub or S808 sub to the subwoofer out connector on your receiver. Adjust the phase switch until you hear the most output from the speaker at the listening position. This means the signal phase is most in line with the phase of the rest of the speakers in the room. Once all of your speakers are wired to the correct receiver outputs, you might want to fine tune your system using the settings in your AV receiver. For more information on how to do this, consult your receiver's setup guide or owner's manual. Proper placement and setup of your Yamo Studio 8 system will ensure precise, high-performance listening for years to come. We appreciate your Yamo Studio 8 purchase, and we know you will love the pure, balanced, dynamic sound that Yamo speakers provide. For more information on other great Yamo products, go to yamo.com. <laughs>